Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to do a, a different like kind of video. Instead of having a problem of a single goal or explaining a certain like a uh, big subject, I will look at a small like uh, sub uh, subject and uh, look at it, to explain it, uh, do uh, different cases, and then show the general formula. So, what I uh, am going to talk about is summing uh, sequences of powers of numbers. So, for example, we have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. And uh, like what that will equal. So, in this case, we have this, this being 9, this being 4, and this being 1. So we get 14. <clears throat> and maybe you want to do 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed. <clears throat> that will uh, equal something else. Uh, it's in fact going to equal uh, 1 plus 8 plus 27, which is 36. And so on. And there are also these general formulas. Uh, or you have maybe 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared all the way on to plus n squared. And that's equal uh, to some kind of expression with n. Or 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed all the way up plus n cubed and so on. And uh, let's just prove the first couple cases uh, which are, are going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way on to plus n. Next, we're going to have this sum, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared all the way on to plus n squared. And for uh, the third case, we'll have 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed all the way on to plus n cubed. And then, after all of that, I, I'm going to write the complete general formula of 1 to the n plus 2 to the n plus 3 to the n all the way on to plus n to the n. Ex uh, I'll explain the formula the formula, because it's not uh, a, that it's not that uh, regular algebra that we're used to. It's kind of a different way to uh, plug in numbers. And and we'll end the video uh, with that. So, uh, let's clean the board. Uh, look at 1 plus 2 plus, uh, plus 3 plus all the way on to n, which is our first example. And also look at our trick that we're going to use for it. Okay? <clears throat> now, uh, let's look at our first example of 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way on to plus n. Now, there is a... Uh, there are a couple famous ways to do it, uh, but because I'll be using uh, a similar way all the way on to the other sums, uh, I'll use it uh, this year too. So the trick that I will be using is that k plus 1 squared minus k squared is equal to 2k plus 1. Now, okay, I know uh, this doesn't look uh, that interesting. <coughs> well, we all know this. But, uh, because we know this is true for every k, we can sum this from k to n. So, <coughs> from here, we get that the sum as k goes from 1 to n of k plus 1 squared minus k squared is equal to the sum as k goes from 1 to n of 2k plus 1. Now, it might look that I made things even more complicated, but first of all, uh, here, uh, we can easily see that this is just 2 times 
the sum as k goes from 1 to n of k plus uh, the sum as k goes from 1 to n of 1, or in other words, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus, and all the way down to plus 1, n times, which is just uh, a single n. Okay. And because this is what we want to find, the sum uh, as n goes uh, from 1 to n of k, uh, that is good. Now the only thing we need to calculate now is this. And it might look complicated with all of those squares, but it's actually very simple because this is a telescoping series. So if we expand this, we get n plus 1 squared minus n squared plus, and so that's the n term, then the n minus first term is, uh, we'll have uh, plus n squared minus n minus 1 squared, uh, and that's uh, going to go, and so on and so forth, so we have plus 2 squared and minus 1 squared. And uh, now, uh, uh, things get really simple from here. Because notice, we have negative n squared and plus n squared. So this will cancel. If uh, the next term here will be plus n minus 1 squared, and this is negative n minus 1 squared, so it will also cancel. It also works for everything else here, including this 2 square, square, but not including the minus 1 square. And what we get is that this is just n plus 1 squared minus 1 squared, which is n squared plus 2n. And now, we have this simple equation. What can I where we can solve for the sum. So all we need to do is sub, uh, subtract uh, from n and divide by 2 to get that this is the sum as k goes from 1 to n uh, that the sum as k goes from 1 to n of k is n times n plus 1 over 2. You might have already seen that formula and that's a way to prove it. Okay, now that we have this trick in mind, uh, let's jump into th uh, the next sum. Okay, now let's move on to summing uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared all the way on to n squared. So, uh, let's write it down. So we have k plus 1 cubed minus k cubed, which is equal to 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Okay? Again, <clears throat> uh, we will sum this uh, from 1 to n. We'll have the sum as k goes from 1 to n of k plus 1 cubed minus k cubed, which is equal to the sum, as k goes from 1 to n, of 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Now, just like uh, last time, this uh, left-hand side uh, will, will simply be n plus 1 cubed minus 1. Just like last time, where it was n plus 1 squared minus 1. So, uh, we put this in, we have this is n plus 1 cubed minus 1, and then this is going to equal to the right hand side, which is also 3 times the sum, as k goes from 1 to n, of k squared, plus three times the sum k goes from 1 to n of k, but we already found that this is simply n times n plus 1 over 2, 
and then it's going to be uh, plus the scale is, the sum scales from one to n of one, which is n. And then uh, uh, you can expand this out and uh, alge and uh, algebraically eventually uh, find that the sum as k goes from one of n is equal to of, of k squared is equal to uh, two n cubed plus three n squared plus n over six, which is also equal to n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. Okay, that's the sum. So it goes from one to n of k squared. Again, I'll I'll leave it for you to do all the, all the algebra. Although it's not that hard to just expand this out and, and move things a little bit and, and uh, find a solution. Okay. Now with this in mind, uh, let's go on to our last sum uh, of cubes. It's k goes from one to n of a k <coughs> cubed. Okay. Now you know uh, what we're gonna do for k for uh, the cubes. We're going to look at the fourth powers. So k plus 1 to the 4th minus k to the 4th, which is equal to 4k cubed plus 6k squared plus 4k plus 1. Again, we will sum from 1 to n, both of these sides. Uh, and I'll shorten things up here. The left hand side we know will end up as n plus 1 to the fourth minus 1, just like last time. And this will equal 4 times the sum as k goes from 1 to n of k cubed plus six times the sum of the squares, uh, which we already found uh, is n times n plus one times two n plus one, and then plus four times uh, the sum of regular first powers, which uh, we also found uh, is n times n plus one over two, so 4 times that, and then finally plus n for this one here that we're summing n times of. And then again, uh, you can rearrange uh, all of this, uh, divide by 4, simplify everything, uh, which I'll leave uh, for you to do, which will give you the sum as k goes from 1 to n of k cubed, as n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. So, uh, now we've established this, let's uh, look at the general formula and, ex and explain it a bit. Okay, so here it is, the complete general formula, summing the first n uh, powers of n. Uh, which gives you this formula. Now let me explain it a bit because uh, it's not a, that straightforward on how to find the all of uh, this. So <coughs> let's see. So this b is not just a, a symbol for some number like pi is just 3.14159 and so on. B uh, is a different way of uh, putting uh, numbers into this formula, which goes like this. b to the power of k here does not mean b times b times b k times. What it does mean is the k uh, number uh, in the series b. So, 
we have B1, uh, we have B1 and B2 and B3 and so on. And B to the power of K doesn't mean B, uh, like this, B times B times B, K times. It means the K th a number in the B series. Now, I actually <coughs> saw this formula uh, in the book, Things to Make and Do in the Fourth Dimension by Matt Parker, which is a great mathematician and comedian. <coughs> He also has a YouTube channel, which I'll link uh, below, if you don't know about him. And, in the book, this formula is written. Uh, it doesn't have a proof, although uh, I might be able to prove this with induction and maybe uh, show it in a future video. Uh, and yeah, so the series... Uh, And so the series goes like this. So B1 is negative a half. B2 is 1 over 6. B3 is 0. And so on and so forth. And as far as I know, there is no uh, general uh, formula for the kth uh, B number or, or another or uh, the Bernoulli numbers, because this series is called the Bernoulli numbers, and after Jacob Bernoulli, uh, which uh, found this pattern uh, across these kinds of sums. Uh, and yeah, and uh, for, for if we example want to do n equals 2, uh, we have to do n, n plus 1 plus b to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3 over 3, then expand it out, just like a binomial, and for every b to the k, look at the k number in the series, and replace it with it, uh, and uh, yeah, you'll get the, the formula. <clears throat> Again, I might be able to prove this with induction, and uh, show it in, the, in a future video, uh, although it can, uh, it can be pretty hard, so I'm not uh, really promising anything. Um, so, uh, that's pretty much it. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more uh, things like this and other interesting problems in the future. And finally, that's it.